Hello everyone, it is another night in the 31-ish Nights of Horror, and this evening, my name is Joe Drilling, and joining me as always, my friend, Eric Allen. What's up, Joe? Not much, not much. I'm, uh, I'm playing a translated version of a Japanese-only Super Nintendo game tonight. Yeah, you playing the Clock Tower from Castlevania? I am playing in the Clock Tower All from the Castlevania. Clock Tower levels from the Castlevania series. Yep. All right here tonight on this stream. <laughs> Can we just go to directly to Castlevania 3? Because that's the best Clock Tower level on Castlevania. I mean, no, you got to do them all. That's what the whole. That's what the, I thought that's what we were doing. Oh, okay. Clock Tower stream tonight, yeah. 9 30. Uh, no, no, we're actually playing the game Clock Tower. Not to be confused with the game, the PlayStation game Clock Tower, which is actually Clock Tower 2. But since Clock Tower 1 never came out in the U.S., mm-hmm. it's just Clock Tower to us Yanks. They Final fantasy that shit. Yeah, they sure did. Um, which gets really confusing because there's also a version of this Clock Tower on the PlayStation that never came out in mm-hmm. the U.S., but yeah so anyways um so yeah so this is when clock tower 3 came out on the playstation 2 which is clock tower 3 right right so this is um this is this is clock tower um i get an ending list so i guess there is i feel like i've heard that there are i was gonna say seven but it looks like there's eight endings in this game um what's the difference between game start and quick start you've played this before I would just do games. I think Quick Start skips all the intro shit. Okay, well, I don't know anything about the intro, so I can probably just do Game Start. You should play the intro. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends... Uh Uh-huh. ...were wanted as adopted daughters. It's definitely not Jennifer Connelly from Phenomenon. No, definitely not. It happened in September. Sorry, not Phenomenon, Phenomena. Yes. Those are two very different movies. Yes, yes, those are definitely very different movies. So this game was uh, developed and published by Human Entertainment, who I think is probably better known as the folks behind Fire Pro Wrestling. (laughs) Uh Um, But Human was one of those developers... um, I'm sort of watching the story here, but... uh, From now on, what kind of place would be living in? A big spooky-ass mansion! (laughs) Um, spooky ass mansion yes it smells like farts in there and it's scary it's a spooky ass mansion um but human entertainment made some weird games man and they're one of those developers that sort of really couldn't have survived into our current generation because major studios make games that just cost way too much money um you know, they would have had to have been absorbed by someone, and they sort of ended up going under, unfortunately. What a or mansion! Out, actually, they might be. They maybe they could have done some of the stuff that they did back then. Now, yeah, in, yeah, as a smaller indie developer or whatever. But getting through like the most of the PS2 and PS3 era would would not have was not in the yeah. cards for them. Um, but yeah, now they could they could do smaller projects, probably on the level of what they used to, or if they'd been absorbed by someone who had respected sort of what they were doing. But um, you know, there's a lot of people who did come out of that studio. Um, Goichi Suda, for example, worked at Human. Uh, okay, so this is a point-and-click adventure game that does not support the Super Nintendo mouse. I do have a Super Nintendo mouse, but this game does not use it, um, so I have to use the controller. The PlayStation port of this game does use the PlayStation mouse. Uh, hey, Anne. Poverty Game Night says, I think Quick Start is also a continue. Which, oh, okay. <clears throat> I think that's true. But I think there was a load option, too, right? So you can, like, there, to... Yeah, there was a continue option. But I didn't do anything to continue from, so... Is something wrong, or are you just cranky? What is it? This house makes me uneasy. It should. There's a, Edward Scissorhands lives there. And he's mm-hmm. going to try and kill you. Um, so I think... I don't know. Did you look up controls for this? I didn't look up anything about this. Okay. So the B-pad controls the mouse. 
cursor, and then um, that I figured out. <clears throat> you can move with the left and the L and R buttons, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. You can walk with L and R. And I think if you double click, she'll run, and if you double tap the buttons, maybe she runs. I'm trying to remember all the different stuff. Yeah. Lottie's paranoid. I just look. Y is the action button. B is the panic button. No, I don't want to hit the panic button. A is the item button. This is how you go through your inventory. Um, X makes her stop running and um, <clears throat> if you've been moving quickly. So it seems like I can't run yet. Okay. Because there's nothing to no, there's nothing spooky, I guess. So I talked to everybody and I looked at I think everything I can. So I'm just sort of seeing what's what here. Can also, I this game has kind of a Resident Evil style health bar. Um, that character portrait in the bottom yeah. uh, will change colors based on her health, basically. So I don't... Is it going to let me go up the stairs? It didn't turn into a box. If something is interactable, it turns into a little reticle, right? That's what I'm getting. I think so. So I guess... Well, now she's just walking all the way back, and I'm, I don't seem to have any control at this moment, so... I think you have to talk to everybody a couple of times. Multiple. Yeah. What happened to Miss Mary? She was quite contrary. <laughs> mm-hmm. Taking a long time. <clears throat> yeah, this was my biggest problem with this game was just the general move speed. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go look for Miss Mary. So does that mean I can leave the room now? Yeah, no, you should be able to okay, get out there of here. Poverty Game Night says it's so weird that there is a black and white Wonder Swan version of this game. That is weird. So something happened. I'm not I, again. I don't want this to like come through the microphone, but I can't hear mm. anything, so I'm turning it up a little bit. This isn't What's funny. The music, I, the sound effects or anything. I can't hear any. Like you, like people watching can hear it. I can't hear it. <laughs> so there we go. Now I can hear it. That might be too loud. Uh oh. Now it's dark and everybody's gone. Yep. Seems like something spooky might happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Wonder Swan. I mean, the thing you have to remember about the Wonder Swan is that it was home to a lot of. Okay, that's still locked. Oh, hey, I can go up the stairs now. Um, the Wonder Swan, you know, however, by hook or by crook or. Whatever, you know, Bandai convinced Square to do a bunch of remakes of Final Fantasy on the Wonder Swan, and I think that is what brought a whole bunch of people, developers and publishers, to the Wonder Swan. Because once Square was on board, it seemed like it was, you know, a, a viable platform. And so, yeah, there is a there is a there is a full remake of this game in black and white for the Wonder Swan that apparently is like pretty faithful for the most part. From what I understand, unfortunately, that version does does not have a translation. Mm -hmm. So um, you would have to either have played the game a lot on the Super Nintendo, or you would have to know Japanese. Yeah, it seems like muddling your way through an adventure game in, the, in a language you don't understand would be a pretty bad way to go about that. Yeah, that's like probably even above muddling your... Whoa! All right, so 
That happened. I'm running now. I'm running now, but the floor collapsed. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, I guess I'm going to go back down the stairs. Um, yeah, I think muddling through an adventure game in a language you don't understand would be even worse than muddling through an RPG in a language you don't understand. Because at least you can, like, nerd about nerd out about the numbers in, our, in the RPG. An adventure game is, like, a very linguistic uh, experience. Yeah. So this translation, I believe, was done by the fine folks at Aeon Genesis, who are one of the sort of foremost fan translation um, outfits out there. And I think they're responsible for this one. Yeah, I was sort of... Um, see if I could figure out who it was that... Done it, but I mean, this one goes way back to like 2000. Yeah, this is another one of those ones that was sort of one of the one of the early fan translations, like a Sweet Home, which I've also not played. Is another one of those, you know. The lights are out. Well, let's turn the. That's a lovely painting in the background there, <laughs> right here. Well, let's take a look. We can look at the painting. <laughs> she doesn't have a lot to say about that painting. Let's check out this box. Is that E.T. hanging out with the punk rocker? Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's picture? yeah, that's what that is. That box is empty. What's on the TV? Is she gonna walk all the way back and then? Is there not? A, there's not a key in that box. She said empty. Okay. I mean, I can look in it again if you no, think it's she's okay. gonna. <clears throat> TV is broken. So. Phenomena is one of the is a movie that I actually plan on watching this month. It's an Argento film that I've not seen. Um, to how closely does this game like? Is this basically an unlicensed adaptation of Phenomena, or just the main character looking like um, Jennifer Connelly, and the game sort of taking place in a all girls? home or whatever which is like a, well, that's I mean, a very so argento in this thing. game yeah like yes th that movie is uh uh oh, jesus academy for girls this game is like a rich old man adopts these kids right and then um they're terrorized in his mansion so it's a little different the, and they, like the the uh, plot and everything is a bit different also mm. the mirror just reached out and grabbed me and I died? What is that? What is that? <laughs> I thought this game was about a scissor-wielding maniac, not that I would look in a mirror and get strangled to death. Yeah. I think the, I think that the Scissor Man is bigger in the sequels, but... <clears throat> well, darn. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to skip the extremely long. Uh, is there an ending for you died? Okay. No, oh, okay. So that's so there, there's actually eight legit endings. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'm going to continue. I don't know where that's going to actually put me, but let's find out. Let's find out together. Oh, okay. So I get to start basically right where I left off. Yeah. This time I'm going to look at this picture and not at the mirror, because the mirror is a murder trap. It's a photograph, lady. She's not as strong as uh, of will as Ash is. <laughs> we just hacked our girlfriend up with a chainsaw. Does that sound fine? What is this thing? I like this box art too, actually. Mm-hmm. Something I didn't mention. I just it's a nice I, I like l looking at the bird actually like lets the bird out of the cage. <laughs> Is the bird going to kill me now too? I think um if you hit the panic button in here, it'll do something. Oh, okay. 
I guess I'll go back in there then. That's right. I forgot that the panic button was a thing. Uh, I hit the panic. I'm hitting. That's B, right? Yeah. Try hitting it on the bed. Maybe. Nope. No, nothing. Do I have to be getting chased by a maniac for it to work? I don't think so. Oh, it's not doing anything there. if you hit it on one of the beds. Nope. I thought you could capture that bird, but. I don't really remember this too well. It's been probably close to 10 years since I played it, but. <clears throat> I guess I could look it up. Good. I picked up some perfume. I turned out the lights. It's not actually what I meant to do. I <laughs> Are you just meant to, to go you? out the door, but sure. So I'm in the hallway. Hmm. Not really sure why she stopped and said dot 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 dot. Uh, that's that. This right here is much more. Um, oh, geez. That's a lot more Suspiria than. What's that? Oh, the, uh, yeah. Okay, there's the scissor wielding maniac, so I guess I'm <laughs> leaving now. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sorry, Can man. You, is this like video? Is this a video game as video game where like he doesn't know how to open doors or like is he gonna keep chasing me? It's the hunchback. Uh, I don't, I think, I think once you escape, he goes away, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. I am pressing the panic button, and I am not. <laughs> not having any <laughs> luck with that doing anything. I sure did get killed by a dwarf with some scissors. <laughs> The hunchback of Cutter Dom. <laughs> hmm. Like, can I hide in the shower? I feel like I should be able to hide in the shower. Maybe. Okay, that time he just left. And now I can interact with the shower, now that the maniac is gone. That makes sense. Is there anything in there? It looks like it's working. I guess I'm going to go check on Anne's corpse. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> See what's up with Anne. And she's gone. Hmm. the same room that I started in? No, it's not. I don't think so. I think it's a different one. That's what I thought. I was like, this house is weirdly shaped if this is the same room I started in. It's like a big donut. <laughs> it's like a live-in donut. Be a bunch of other... Question. The door seems to be stuck. 
We'll pull harder then. What the hell? It seems that the door is locked. What about the window? Can we get out the window? Let's just go. Let's just leave. <laughs> just throw a chair through the window. Yeah. I don't think you should run everywhere because I think that you're making her tired. Oh, does that? Okay. So I can't just, I can't actually make this game go faster. I have to walk around. Yeah, you have to kind of balance, I think. Like when it's blue, you can run until it's green or yellow. Um, but you want to have a little bit of juice left. It's more like a, like a sanity slash stamina bar than a, a health bar. Since there's gotcha. really no combat. Right, right. <clears throat> One thing is going to kill you. <laughs> One stab from the scissor man is going right. to do you in. So, so, like, if something spooky happens, like when you open the door and the parrot was flying around, it'll bust your level down, and running, I think, a certain amount will also push that down. Right. Door and I think it, it'll recharge or actually I could look I should look this up because I'm not hundred percent clear on how it works. Hey, a door that's open. It's a kitchen. So does the killer appear at random or does okay. he have set up here? So you need to to tap the panic button, like like rapid style. Um, you, you need to escape. Okay, that's good to know. How do I recover my stamina or whatever? I don't know. I was just looking that up. Ew, gross. Hmm. It just says it'll recharge over time in rest or calm situations. That doesn't seem very restful, Joe. Yeah. No, it doesn't. And I, <laughs> I'm pressing the panic button, but it's still not doing anything. She doesn't look very happy. She doesn't. Can you exit? Uh, yeah. I picked up some ham, though. <laughs> if you can find the bread and the mustard, then you can make yourself a sandwich. Yeah, so I've got, like, bugs crawling around me, but the panic button is doing nothing, and I'm like... I'm like it's like rapidly tapping it and it doesn't seem to make a difference okay well we're out of the bug room anyways I think you can find some bug spray someplace else in the house that lets you investigate that meat locker gotcha Boy, it sure does seem like there's a lot of stuff in this room that would be useful. Like, I should be able to pick that shovel up, right? And you can dig your own grave. Brain? Uh, no, I was going to say hit the, <laughs> hit the scissor guy in the head with it, but... This is a key. A car key. And there's a car. Let's get the hell right, out of here. Fuck out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. This is how you get into the chainsaw fight. <laughs> keys aren't here yeah no i know we just talked about this oh right i have an inventory thing yeah yeah you have an inventory button use ham on car mm -hmm. put on the engine block to crisp it up a little bit <clears throat> but but what no 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 we know at least mm -hmm. one of them is dead the rest are probably not far but god damn it and rescue your friends, man. Or we could get we could get out of here and get the cops, and they could come and rescue our friends. Uh, there are no cops. Why aren't there any cops? I don't because the scissor guy killed them all. Damn. 
He drove a he drove a car into the front of the police station and wiped them all out like Terminator style. Yeah, but the Terminator did a lot more than that. He didn't just drive the car in. He had like machine guns. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, he he had, Sir Man doesn't need machine guns. He's got giant scissors. <laughs> all four foot of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the scissors actually aren't that big. He's just really small. Yeah. How long is this game, give or take? Um, I'm, I want to say I mostly used an FAQ, and it didn't take super long, like two or three hours maybe. Okay, so I don't quite have that much time tonight. I'm going to a midnight showing of John Carpenter's Halloween with Kurt tonight. <laughs> That's a pretty so, good movie. Yeah, that is a pretty good movie. Um, that, was the, that was the bug room. Yeah. So main story, movie. according to Time to Beat. About two hours uh, okay. to do the main story, and then if you want to go back and get all seven and get all the different endings. endings and stuff, yeah, there's a bunch of different endings. Eight apparently, according to the ending I screen. There's the, nine. I think there's another one there's as a well. Secret that is not. Yeah, that is not included on that list. Is that like one that you only get once you've gotten all the others or something? Uh, maybe I don't. I just played through it. Like I just played through it once. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what other adventure games were there for the Super Nintendo. Uh, Shadowrun is sort of half adventure, half RPG. Okay. Like, there's a lot of like searching through drawers and finding key items and talking That's to right. people yeah. and um, that kind of stuff. So it, it has elements of that, but it also has like shooting at dudes and getting levels. So. Yeah. I mean, there's like a version of Flashback, right? Yeah, is that an adventure game though? That's like a cinematic platformer, right? I don't know. Yeah, those are Prince weird. Like style. those are weird. I mean, they have platforming in them, but you have to kind of like puzzle out exactly what it is you're supposed how to. How to do. right? How to interact with those platforms and the enemies and stuff? Yeah, um, that's true. It's not quite the same as Mario, where you understand the tool set and you get better at it and, and flashback in another world you have to kind of figure it out yeah yeah that's right. true yeah i believe cinematic platformer is the term that was coined in the 90s for those cool. so. bar <laughs> i guess the lost vikings is kind of an adventure game yeah kind of that's like a puzzle platformer yeah it's like a puzzle platformer I like that I can't go into door if the, there's no door if, if there's just an open doorway I can't walk into that that's so weird it's too scary you don't know what's in there that's true I don't know what's in there nothing is inside okay great walk past it or climb over it sure why not looks like a bird's nest can we use this stick to dislodge that bird's nest <laughs> The puzzle. I think is, you uh, find something, but that stick's not long enough. Or can't use it. I did use it. And there's I think I want to say that there's some items in this game that are kind of like sh shuffled around. Like they move. So I don't really. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like really sure some... what the point of that was. I I used the stick to nudge the bird's nest, and the raven came out and said, "Never more." Mm -hmm. And that's uh -huh. it. <laughs> okay. Well. Peace, Mr. Raven. Have a, have a good evening. Maybe I'll come back later and you can peck the scissor man's face off to protect me or something. I don't know. Uh, you should be able to, according to this FAQ, you can push that box over there. Well, okay. There should be a key in the nest. I feel like Okay, but I don't have to do something to get rid of the raven first? Uh, uh, hit him with a stick. <sighs> Fuck him up. Nope, 
She just gets on top of the box when I... Oh, that makes sense. Oh, mm. no. That doesn't make sense. What the hell, lady? I think you should just... Poverty Game Night says, As I recall, all the position of some rooms are randomized. Huh. I buy that. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, I only played through it once a long time ago, so... Um... Yeah, I'm looking at this FAQ, I guess the, the key that I thought was in that box at the very beginning of the game is in that nest now. We should be able to push it, according to this. Does it tell me how to push it? Because... Between the options of the stick in the box in the middle of the hall, opt to click on the box. So if you click on the box, you just climb on top of it? No, she looks at it and says there's nothing inside. I guess maybe I have to look at the bird's nest first. Looks like a bird's Maybe. nest. That's fuck. I hate adventure games. Is that what <laughs> yeah, I had to look at the bird's nest first, and then choose the crate, and then she pushes it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes I sense. Never right? would have figured that. Kind out, of, you're using the right. Yeah, you never. Wow, that's that's adventure games. I mean, you did, right? You thought about trying to do something with the box, but the game just wouldn't let you. The West Wing oh, key. The nest is full of eggs and junk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not just eggs, but junk, like a key. All right. Boy, I don't know what I was doing at the beginning, but I was dropping frames. I haven't dropped one in a while, but I dropped 130 frames in, like, the first... 15 minutes this of this game stream. moves pretty fast so yeah right, right okay so i have the car key in my inventory but i don't have the west wing key does that mean if i go to a door that needs it it just unlocks it automatically yeah i think some keys just uh automatically open the door Did you play the PlayStation or PlayStation 2 games at all, or nah? Yeah, I rented this. I think it's the second one. The second like the one actual... that we got, or this? Yeah. Okay, that was supposed to be. I've heard that's the worst one. It has like nothing to do with any of the other games in the series, is what I've been told. And in Japan, in fact, it wasn't even labeled as a, as like a proper sequel. It's just called Clock Tower Ghost Head. Yeah. But Clock um, Tower Two, a struggle to struggle, with struggle within, within yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah that's supposed to be the worst one. Fond memories of that. Although I'm looking at some videos of it on YouTube, and I don't really recognize it. But okay, well the key worked on that door, I guess. Let's see what Clock Tower Three looks like. I hear Clock Tower 3 is pretty weird, but also, like, pretty fun. Okay. Door seems to be stuck. Is the door seems to be stuck? Oh, no, Clock Tower 3 is the one I played. Okay. That's the one that apparently adds magical girl transformations in the boss battles. So. Yeah, yes. That, that one is more like a traditional... Or not, I mean, the second one, is, from what I saw, is more of a adventure game, and then the third one is a little bit more survival horror, but more in the vein of, like, a, um, uh, what's the fucking, what's the series with the camera? Resident Evil? Oh. <laughs> you, know. you mean actually with the camera. Um, yeah. Uh, Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame, yeah. What the hell? Oh, is there something. like a mad doctor living in this house? Like, there's a jar with a heart in it. Like, uh huh. Surprise! Oh, so you got your stamina back. Doctor Herbert West is the one who adopted these <laughs> girls. <laughs> Is 
There's not a severed head performing cunnilingus in this game anywhere, is there? Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> Thanks. You're a pal. <laughs> She's getting stressed out by something. And there's like a weird noise. Is that just like the pulsating heart laying on the floor? Um, according to this, pesticide that you need to get the thing out of the meat locker is in the closet on the first floor or someplace. Okay. Trying to look. Uh, Just a closet? I guess if the rooms are semi-random, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Uh, that's the door I came out of. So I'm not going to go that way. This shit, the, this house is now all like Mask of the Red Death and shit. <laughs> all right, with like the brightly colored walls. Like, am I gonna start going through mm -hmm. every room and they all have different brightly colored walls? <laughs> These girls were adopted by the Prince Prospero. How many yeah. offbeat horror references can I make tonight? <laughs> I mean, it's inspired by an Argento film, so... That's true. So everything expect, is, like, super yeah, technicolor. Yeah, weird, freaked out, yeah, uh, color palettes. Okay, so I can't even interact with this door. That's... Okay, sure. <laughs> Why put a door there if I can't click on it or do anything with it? Like, just don't put Something a fucking door, door there. It's just painted on. Wily e. Coyote. Later in the game, you'll use it to, to trick this, yeah, the Scissor Man into running into it, Wily e. Coyote style. Is there a map? There's not a map, is there? Okay, pausing just pauses, no, like, does nothing, no so. There's an ASCII map in this FAQ. <laughs> So this house is it's pretty pretty weird. Whoa. <laughs> what are we surprised by? The corpse of a crow and the key. Good shit. A key to a cage. Decapitated crow corpses. A single bird is left in the cage. Oh, right. Because some keys I have to use the fucking inventory map, and some I don't. <laughs> Makes sense to me. I think keys that interact with something you need to use, and I think keys that open doors in the mansion you don't, I think. I hope I find a way out of here, too. <laughs> That's legit. So I guess I'm going to look in this empty. Okay. Well. Empty, empty, right. empty. I mean, you did find a way to escape. You just didn't want to take it. Yeah, no kidding. All right. So I, I man, I hope that crow is the, I hope that crow is like the dog in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> I set it free and <laughs> later the scissor man will attack me and the crow. Like, hey, it's that crow. No, hey, I, hey, a door without a door that I can actually go through. That's a first. Yeah, so yeah, looking at this map on this, some of the rooms do rotate in playthroughs. So it's like, 
like this one room like the room is labeled like 19 and the 19 can be a variety of rooms but it's not it's not totally random but it's just like it will huh. move them around a little bit that's interesting which is a good way to um add some replayability i guess to an adventure game but yeah Personally, I think if I was trying to see all the endings in a game like this, I would want everything to be the same so I could just like burn my way through it really quickly all the time. But they probably didn't want you to do that though. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like that's why it's like that. There's a statue in the hallway, that's uh, that's a thing. It's the Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> Earthworm Jim shows up dressed as a blind cave salamander. <laughs> and then you play a weird trivia game. The switch is broken and it's unplugged. <laughs> yes. There's only junk inside. Is junk and steam inside? <laughs> Are there any eggs in there? Not good. No bueno. Oh, I heard a scream. <laughs> Go, run. Why are you not running? You're not running. Run. Time to go. Panic button. I'm. I'm. I mean, I am. It doesn't. It's not doing anything. Oh. You're doing some laughs. All yeah, right. Those knees up. back into the bathroom this is a different bathroom though there's no toilet in this one which is weird and pressing the, the panic the button is doing nothing and I can't get in the shower <laughs> and I can't okay did he follow Does... you in there? no he didn't but it's still playing the creepy music so I suspect he's still around here somewhere Okay, I guess that's just a dead end. There's not a wall there, so I, I don't really know. I, wasn't I in this room on the bottom floor? That's fucking weird. The same section of the house. I think the house is kind of shaped like an H. <clears throat> and then those doorways like take you back and forth between the sides of the hallway. God. Hmm. Uh -oh. I am hitting the panic button and it is doing nothing. <laughs> is there anything you can interact with in there? No. No. And I can't throw a ham at him either. <laughs> 
Give him the ham. Some, some bullshit. Spray the spray the per perfume in his eyes. Dead end. Get it? I get it. There's nothing. Okay, now the panic button is kind of working. Hey, I shoved him on his ass. There you go. Oh, ouch. Mm. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, because she's so low on strength. Yeah. <clears throat> That's not a very pleasant looking room. No, it's really not. Feels like someone's watching. But could could it be because there's a weird creepy doll? <laughs> or a freaky dude with scissors following me? Okay, so those rooms are connected by that door, but I can only go from the one Okay. <laughs> can't go back through that door? I can't go back through that door. Uh, now, what's his face isn't chasing you? Can you do no, anything? No, he, he is chasing me. Oh, no, he's me. back. Throw that garbage can at him. Yeah, right. Like, why can't I throw some shit at him? Okay. Pushed him on his ass again. Good job. <laughs> Duck, tripped over him. That's uh -huh. swell. Can't go back through that door. I have to go. What? No, go. Oh. Go back into the. Oh, now you're in the library. Yeah, push this bookshelf over on you, motherfucker. What? You dick. <laughs> There's a slip of paper in a book. Hold the demon idol with great care. Oh, I always do. This looks pretty deep. There's something shiny in there. Tell me more. Well, don't like get the shiny thing. Or is it too deep to reach? Okay, I guess it's too deep to reach. <laughs> Books are lined up here. Great. Have you ever played The Witch's House? Um, doesn't sound familiar it's a it's a free game that uh i think uh I forget what his name is but um some japanese uh rpg maker made it and it's uh i think you can download it for free still but it, it's like a it's kind of similar to this it's since it's an rpg maker game it's obviously played from an overhead perspective but um, you walk around a, like a, a house with a bunch of weird puzzles and have to solve them all. Hmm. But I, I just I remember liking it. That was but that was like four or five years ago too. Oh, great creepy dolls. What the hell? <laughs> uh. 
that was weird. <laughs> I can't interact with the doll that tried to kill me. Poor Laura. Their name was Jennifer. And she definitely yeah. wasn't yeah. Jennifer Conley. Oh no, Laura was the protagonist in uh, uh, D. D. Yes. Yeah. But also poor Can Laura, you, I guess, in that. <laughs> Can't do anything with that doll. Nope. There was something you could do with that. It's a picture of a woman. It looks familiar. Uh, try clicking on the toy chest below the doll. Um, I did. There wasn't anything. Oh, no, I did that. I got a key out of it. Oh, did I, you get the key? Yeah. Oh, okay. I missed that. The ceremony key was in there. I don't know where there's a locked ceremony around here, but, you know. I got a key for it when I find one. Was there, if you go to the left when you exit that room, is there a hole in the floor in a hallway, basically? Um, I don't know. Can I finish investigating this room? I wonder who lit this fire. Picture of a middle-aged woman. Like you do. It's in the garbage. Nothing. I can tell you who didn't start that fire. Billy Joel. <laughs> it's true. Some books. There's a pool in the courtyard. You should go for a swim. I mean, this is kind of a slasher thing, right? So clearly I should be skinny dipping. <laughs> There's nothing to be worried about. So I watched Friday the 13th, part two and three last night. Mm hmm. But with that it being go? Friday the 13th and all. So, Bryce told me that Friday the 13th Part 2 is his favorite Friday the 13th movie, and I now seriously question his judgment. Uh, because I, I thought that's the one with the, where he's got the sack over his head. He's got the bag head. over his head the whole time, yeah. And you only see him in like the last maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Like Otherwise, it's like POV stuff. Yeah, I don't. The problem with that series is that actually none of the movies they're all that good. Well, right, but they're 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 incredibly consistent, right? And they're all like most of them are pretty fun, because you know, I mean, in most part, of them are pretty short. Yeah, they're all. I don't think any of them creases a hundred minutes, and only a couple of them crease like even you know ninety five yeah. minutes, so. I think everything's getting a little choppy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay. I just dropped yeah. a whole bunch of frames. I don't know what happened that did that, but... My CPU is not, like, working overly hard on this stream. I'm at 20% <laughs> CPU. So, I, I don't know. Sorry. Um, But, yeah, I mean, I enjoy, like... <laughs> You get everything you need out of a Friday the 13th movie by watching the, like, the five-minute kill compilations on YouTube. <laughs> um, there might be some truth to that. Right. So this room is all green. It is like Mask of the Red Death. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, You can use that to track your progress guess but without a map it is really kind of difficult to understand like where i am in relation to anywhere yeah. else so you can draw your own map because the rooms are randomized it's locked it's broken tableware I'm 
various things. <laughs> that is incredibly helpful. Is that more or less helpful than eggs and junk? Yeah, so now that I've noted that something is too high to climb up, can I use this box to actually? Of course I can. I think you can, actually. Yes, I can. Yeah, and now it looks like I just I dropped think you a whole can bunch trick of more Scissor Man in this room, too, by using this thing somehow. Or maybe he can't climb over that. This He's is pretty short, so. If he's chasing you. There are some clothes uh, here. Let's see. Sneaky Turtle Egg says, Why is Joe playing? Shouldn't Roger be on the stick? <laughs> Roger can't stream for a variety of reasons. <laughs> well, theoretically, Roger could stream, but someone else would be playing the game. He's, yeah, he's too shy. To be Picked up a black robe. Uh, Poverty Game Night says, I think Twitch servers are a bit wonky, wonky now. I had to switch from Chicago to Toronto yesterday because Chicago was dropping frames a lot. Okay. So that might be what the problem is. <clears throat> so I got some rope and a black cloak. Twitch fucking sucks, man. I mean, we could not I'm use do Twitch. everything on beam from now on. I like that all these rooms have light switches and they're all broken. Um... A can of insecticide. Picked up some insecticide. There, there you go. We can, if you can figure out how to get back into the kitchen, yeah, you can solve another I, puzzle. Yeah. Um, I've thought about setting things up to try YouTube streaming and see how that is, but I just don't have the motivation to ever do it. I'm too lazy. Uh, to do what? YouTube we streaming. Cut out a little bit. Oh, yeah, we could try that, I do. I know the reason I always wanted to do oh, uh, back beam the... stuff was because of how super low latency it is. Right. We're back at the bird's nest somehow. I have no idea how the hell that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused about the map of this game, but sure, whatever, I'll take it. So I've got a rope and a so how do you black robe? I've got a rope and a black uh -huh. robe and some insecticide. Uh huh. And some like ham. Saturday night. That's right. Tough that pesticide. Put on those black robes. Cover your face in ham. Get <laughs> freaky. Oh, yeah, my kilobytes per second just really dipped super hard. So I don't know if Twitch is. Yeah, if Twitch servers are just being garbage or what. Um, <clears throat> Are you spooked so, out yet? Mm. I mean, it's a little unnerving. The fact that I'm talking to you and making dumb jokes <laughs> uh -huh. mitigates that to a certain degree. But um, yeah, I mean, it's for a Super Nintendo game. This yeah. this has quite a bit of atmosphere. Um, I think the room I'm looking for is to the left. Yeah, yeah, downstairs and to the left someplace. Um, I have to go through one more hallway. I'm not 100% sure. I don't um, but yeah, this game does do a pretty good job of putting you in the shoes of somebody who's basically helpless. No uh, guns, yeah, no... No rocket launchers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's always been this um, this sort of pervasive thing about games being power fantasies, which I guess a lot of them are, but. Um, there's always been certain games that have sort of bucked that trend, and obviously this is one of them because you're pretty much, excuse me, helpless. Yeah, like this is this game is it's. I mean, it's pretty good. It's but it's like um, you can definitely see where all the other survival horror games have roots in it. Uh, Sweet Home key. is kind of the same way. 
Yeah, Sweet Home... Well, Sweet Home, though, you actually fight monsters and stuff, and you're, like, right. capable it, of defending yourself. Kind of. That's another one. I'm getting a Famicom EverDrive probably next month, and I'd like to check out Sweet Home once I have that. So does this game save? Like, if I if I turn the game off and come back to it, will that continue option let me pick up where I left off? Or do I got to do this in one go, and then it just saves the I things? have no idea. I don't remember, actually. I, like I said, I just sat down with an FAQ and just played through it. I didn't really bother poking around too much. Mostly because you have to find... Um, to get the the good ending quote unquote you have to find all the items that are hidden around the house and then you have to perform a weird ritual 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 blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um and so if you miss any of those steps then it sort of changes the ending there's also because there's so many moving pieces in terms of where other characters will show up and stuff yeah um like everything you do in the house has an effect on which ending you'll get once you get out of the house um, and how the end sequence plays out. Ah. <clears throat> okay, so I have a gold key, but I have no idea what that would be for. It's for the gold room. It unlocks uh, the the it's how you get into Scrooge McDuck's uh, money vault. Bin. Yeah, yeah. This is the garage. That's one of the endings. Right? Yeah, of the endings the is that just launches into the Ducktales theme, and then she swims around in a <laughs> big pile of gold. Sounds good to me. How do I get that one? Is that like the dog ending in Silent Hill? <laughs> yeah. And this game is like extremely deliberately paced, right? Like this is Yeah. I mean it's pretty slow. Oh, the gold key opens the door right next to where I was. That's convenient. Oh, I should probably turn the lights on first, I guess. Is it... Holy shit. <laughs> Well, that's fun. Uh, was that just her head, or was her whole body stuffed in the suit of armor, I wonder? <laughs> oh, I haven't caught up yet. Oh, Jesus, you're... Uh, uh... Well, there's Laura was one of your friends. Right. silver key is under the glass boy this certainly feels like it's a lot of like look it, go into a room find uh -huh. a key that key opens yep. a door to another room that has a different key in it does that remind you of a different <laughs> more famous series of video games phone line's been cut of course it has maybe been. if the key had maybe you have to go into your inventory and turn the key around and then see what <laughs> look at what, yeah. snake or some armor on it yeah or a crow or a suit of cards yeah yeah but in those games there's more than just like walk walk around. into a room this room now has the same key has it you know this room has a key okay unlock that room with that key and now okay the next key is in that room that you literally just unlocked with the key you just found like resident yeah. evil has little there's a little bit more to it than that yeah, I mean, it's weird because this game came out pretty late in the Famicom life cycle. So it's not really that much older than the first Resident Evil game. Yeah, I was going to say, it's really, it's almost contemporary with Resident Evil. I mean, it's obviously on a much more limited piece of hardware, so. Right. But I mean, they almost got Resident Evil into a Game Boy Color cartridge, so. 
I mean, so having played Alone in the Dark recently on a Game Boy Color cartridge, I will tell you that this game is <laughs> almost certainly superior to any Game Boy Color version of Resident Evil that may have existed. Sounds about right. So, I don't know. Again, there's no indication. That's the thing. At least in, also in Resident Evil, when you try a door... It's like you yeah, try the door, yeah. there's an etching of a sword, and you're like, okay, right. so I know what I need to get All in right. this when room. When I get a key with a picture of a sword on it. Right. In this game, it's this. like the door is locked, and then it's like you found a silver key, and it's like, okay, great. The only one so far was yeah. the, the first one said you found the West Wing key, and I was like, well, clearly then I have to go to the western part of the house, and it's going to open something. But Okay, use the silver key. There's a bunch of spooky shit on the walls. <laughs> what? What? No! No! Don't leave! God, Jesus! Dot dot dot. Time will cause adherence the clock tower's clock stopped various chemicals are on the desk yeah one of the endings of this game is that she gets hooked on drugs and then ends up at a live sex show on the wrong end of a double-sided dildo oh, it's really geez. it's pretty fucked up for a super nintendo game <laughs> i think that's a different jennifer connelly movie but <laughs> i could be mixing up my jennifer connelly movies is one of them where her little brother gets captured by the king of goblins and she has to go save him <laughs> yeah that's one of the other one of the other um other endings you end up trapped forever in an oubliette I feel like there's something more I should be able to do in this room, but right, part of it's hidden behind that shelf. So push the shelf, but like I can't. So do you know Jennifer Connelly is going to be in a TV series based on Snowpiercer? Uh, I did hear something about that actually. Yes. I know that was a thing that existed. I wonder if that's based on the movie or based on the... Uh, Wasn't the movie based on a book or something? Was it? I don't think so. I think so. Can I use the rope on the desk? Can I use the rope on the book? Can I use the rope? Oh, oh. Can I use the rope on the mural? <laughs> Just take it and use it someplace else. Seems that way. <laughs> the poverty game right says, what's the right end of a double-ended dildo? <laughs> I mean, it's the end that you want to be on by your choice, not because you're addicted to drugs and yeah. doing something horrible, because you it's the only it's way you can get fix. your next fix. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I got about 20 minutes left before I'm going to have to it's call a it a night. goddamn depressing movie. Yeah, it's a super depressing movie. All right, so I've used all of the keys that I have... I have this black robe, this rope, and the car key that I can't use. Some ham and some perfume. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm going to go back. Sort of make my way back around the house and just see what I find. Maybe these keys open more than one door. Like in Resident Evil. Or maybe, does anybody, do you know? Does anybody know? What's that? This? If the keys open multiple doors or if each key only opens mm. one door think so i think they're all single use yeah okay well
The girl that was in the suit of armor is not the same girl as came through the skylight, correct? That was a different No, girl. that's one of your other friends. Right, okay, so... That's, that's, wait, why is there creepy mm. music playing? I can't tell if what's supposed to be coming out of the sink. Have you been in a hallway with windows where there was a screen? Like a, like a screen door or like a, like no, that a kind of screen? screen? Oh, a screen. Like a screen, like ice cream, but with a uh, gross. Um. No, I don't think so. You need so. to go find another bathroom and wash the weird maggots off your hand. Is that what that's supposed to be? It's, how do I maggots come out of a sink that are out of a faucet? It doesn't... Anyways. Um, I don't remember hearing a scream in any of the hallways that I've been in so far. Certainly not recently. What happens if I hear if I if that happens? Where do I go? I don't remember. That's just something it says in this FAQ not to look out the windows. Not to look out the windows. Yeah. Okay, is that weird, like, instant death with the mirror? Is that the only thing like that in this game? Uh, I don't know. I'm still not going to look in that fucking mirror, I'll tell you that. Can you try and capture that bird again? Maybe try clicking on the bed and then panic buttoning it. Um, okay, I can try. I don't know if that would actually like help you accomplish anything, but... When you click on the beds, all it says is the left bed isn't used or something like that. <laughs> It looks like the left bed isn't used. And when you click on the right bed, it says it looks like the left bed isn't used. And if you <laughs> panic button on either of them, it does nothing. It does nothing? Okay. And if you click on the bird, it does nothing. And if you panic button on the bird, it does nothing. I can try to give the bird some ham. See how that works out. <laughs> There's one thing I know about parrots is that they love ham. Yeah, that's what everybody says, right? Polly wants some ham. Mm-hmm. That's one of the keys to that um, one Phoenix Wright case. Right, right. Okay, so don't look that's out the windows. Trick the window bird into in testifying here. by giving it some ham. What's that? There's a there's a window in here. Look out there. I you said don't look out the windows. Uh, you should definitely do it. It's completely dark outside. What time is it now? I don't know. Time to be dark, I guess, but that <laughs> that could be a lot of time. If all you're going to say is dot, 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 what's the fucking point of letting me click on the thing? Like, that is so aggravating. Like, just don't make it a clickable object. Yeah, I think if you really wanted to get to the end of this, you'd have to start over with the... And just play it through with an FAQ. 
I mean, I don't mind trying to play through and get, like, the shitty ending, you know, first. Um, I, you know, it's the kind of thing where, like, yeah, maybe I would use an FAQ to get the better ending once I got a shitty one, but... Can I look at the table now that the lights are on? Or are <laughs> you still just gonna say dot dot dot? Fuck you. <laughs> Well, the problem is, because of the the sort of scattershot nature of the various rooms you can enter, and the um, it's difficult for me to find like a place that, like, you know what I mean? There's like no like point A to B to C walkthrough. It's just like, you know. Right. What the hell is that? There's a deep crack in the wall. It's crumbling. That's it? That's that's all you... Oh, hey, I can actually click on the rubble. That's new. Pile of trash, wooden concrete. Pocketed a rock. Oh, all right. Can you use it on scissor head next time he shows up? I mean, let's hope so. So I'm back in like the front hall. Uh, hmm. Where was that room with the the crack in the wall? Um, it's I was just in it. I mean, it's like right near the front of the house, sort of. Uh, Are you talking about the one with like the deep crack in the wall where there's a shiny object yeah. inside? Oh, that yes. room is somewhere else. You can use a pipe on that crack. I don't have a pipe. Uh, maybe there's one in the room. I don't remember seeing anything like that, but I can try to get back there. Again, I it's really hard to remember exactly where the fuck all this shit is, because all these rooms <laughs> look the same, except for the color of the wall. Wow, that's your key. That one picture on the far right on the bottom floor looks like a lizard running away from something. <laughs> okay, that's right. I can't do anything up here. That was pointless. All right. Yeah, yeah it really would. It would help too. I think if you were like mapping it out a little bit as yeah, you went. Yeah, I probably should have been taking notes or... Is it just time? Is there a lot of people streaming since it's a Saturday night, and so Twitch's servers are just like. I don't know. Twitch is just kind of garbage, I think. And I can't run. Cause, I mean, I guess I'm in the red anyway, so I. Like, am I going to die if I run? I don't know. Yeah, you should run and kill her, and then. Just see if, that, see if that's what happens. Does she just keel over if I run? Okay, so we know that there's just a bunch of rubble in that room, so I don't need to go in there. That's the Barney room. Right. I think the room with the deep crack in the wall was in the... You were just there a minute ago, right? A couple minutes ago. I was going to say, it was a little while ago. I think it's in the purple part of the house. Maybe up 
upstairs in the purple part of the house. Let's stained glass is a good. Right, that's in the green mark. green part of the house. That I recall. No, no, no. Because this door goes. Use the west wing key. Oh, maybe I hadn't used that key yet actually. So. Oh, I have some new stuff. It's a swimming pool. I definitely looked at the swimming pool before. I'm in the purple part of the house. I think the room with the crack is in here some is in this part of the house somewhere, but I don't exactly recall. It's a swing pool. I think where you saw the swing pool before was in a different room. Yeah, I think I've I think I've seen it from different angles. Uh, here's the room with the big crack. There is not a pipe in this room, unless it's like very. Poverty wide. Game Night says an actress has accused giant sapient penis Steven Seagal, <laughs> or Seagal, of being a casting couch creeper. I never would have guessed. Yeah, that's shocking. This crevice looks pretty deep. There's something shiny in there. I mean, that dude's got so much fucking. He's been such a trash human for such a like we've known about that for a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's no there's no pipe or bar or anything in this. I could try the rope, I guess. But you said specifically it's not the rope. It's. Yeah. I, well, maybe this isn't the right room. It said. There's a room with a crack that and you could use a pipe that was laying on a shelf. Uh, it's on a statue. See, I think you need to remember that as well from that book, because that teaches you how to do the ritual that you need to do to open up like a secret room at the end of the game. Yeah. So what is the, I mean, the FAQ must be telling you. <laughs> also, that. she said that in his house, he had a big Asian throne. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that dude's a real piece of work. Now, see, now I feel like I'm doing that thing that you do in adventure games where you're just, like, pixel hunting. Like, I'm just walking uh -huh. around rooms and, like, waving the fucking cursor around to be like, something must do something. Yeah, that's the way I always end up. I usually give it a shot and then just play adventure games with an FAQ because I just don't have the patience most of the time to... It can be quite infuriating to spin your wheels for. Right. Well, so what is the... I mean, the FAQ must say something, right? Like, what... What's that? What does the FAQ say I'm supposed to do? Well, like I said, the problem is that you can kind of go uh, just about anywhere. The thing on the, there's this plank of wood. Oh, there you go. Is there a the hole floor. there that you can use it to it cross is. across? Seems that way. There you go. That's something that was. The last there. time I was through here, the the maniac was chasing me, so yeah, I couldn't. Uh... 
Um, I believe you can use that plank of wood to cross a hole, and then if he shows up, you can pick the piece of wood up so he can't get across. The wall looks painted over. It does at that. It looks badly painted over. Hey, I found a, an idol. Hidden in the statue's bosom. It's cold. A cross protrudes from the bottom. Picked up the demon idol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's what's in that book mentions the demon idol. Right. Doesn't it say something about ham? Anything you can gently? use on that wall? I don't think so. Ham? I have some ham. Uh. Perfume, ham, car key, cage key, black robe, rope, rock, demon idol. Doesn't seem like anything I can... Oh, for yeah, Poverty Game Night says, when I played this, I dropped him down that hole like four times. Time to go. Yeah, for the amount of time that you spent wandering around, you've actually encountered Scissor Face a surprisingly low number of times. There you go. But is he still actually like coming or is he just He should be. If just wait by the thing he should show up, I think. I don't know if you have the panic button on the wood or probably, but he's not coming, that's the thing. He heard us talking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is he... Is he... I don't know, can you go back into that room? I think that room is where you want to be. The room that he's in? Yeah. Is he still in there? But I don't want to be in there because he's in there. No, no, okay, now he just switched sides on me. The ah, fucker. <laughs> Investigate this room, and then uh, I'm gonna call it a night because I got a movie to go see. Some valuable-looking pictures. <laughs> now, see, there's a crack, and there's another crack in the wall, and it looks like there's a pipe in this room sort of leaning against mm -hmm. the wall here, so this must be the one that This is the, the room I thought you were in before. Wimpleton Ducks says yo. <laughs> Who said yo? Wimpleton Duck. Oh, what up, Wimpleton Duck? Any relation to Scrooge and Donald or <laughs> Daffy instead, maybe? I don't know. There's a room over there. Mm hmm Sure is. It's a creepy room. Can you look in that FAQ and see if there's a way to save? Because <laughs> I would really, if I don't have to lose my progress, I would like to not lose my progress. Here in this room is stagnant. Looks like someone was counting days. Is 
looks like a chart of some sort. Mary's and Patience names. The name of the master of the house. I don't know if you hit start or something. Can you save? Mary Barrows. Uh, start just pauses. Looks like a chart. Patience yeah, from what I can see, it just is an auto save. A black medical bag. Walter Simpson. I don't. Father. Oh, okay. Well, that's not dun, good. Dun, dun. That's your dad's corpse. <laughs> It's holding a piece of paper. It looks like a memo. Eleven ten nineteen eighty six. This is the third day. I, Doctor Walter Simpson, have been in here. I will not last long. Before I die, I will record this. There are twin children who are a blemish on this world. Okay. When the lady was to give birth, I was called to this house. She gave birth to two chill... No. Demons! Uh, uh, uh. When they were born, they ate my right hand. They were ill. <laughs> Their bodies deformed. They should have died. But they lived. I should have tried to... Breathing is painful. The air in this room is already gone. They're in a cradle under the star. Jennifer, Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer. That's a tough way to go out. Yeah, that's that's rough. Wimbledon Duck says, that's some rough shit, Doc Simpson. Bam. Wimbledon spot on there. But I think you're in the room that's been painted over. Right. Oh, right. The door was painted. You know, the door was painted shut. Yep. All right. Well, I got to run my dogs out and go to a movie. So I'm going to call it an evening here. But thanks to everybody who hung out and watched. And Eric, thanks for your help. And... You said there is no way to like actively save this. It's just like an auto save. I don't think so. I would leave this room before you turn it off, though. I did. Okay. Does it save in the last room you were in, maybe, or something? I think it saves room by room. Okay. So I'm actually going to get back into the main hallway just in case that has something to do with it. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with something that we haven't discussed what we're doing tomorrow, but we'll be doing something, I guess, right? Yeah, I was thinking some Silent Hill something, maybe. Sure, that sounds good. We'll, we'll hang around and play some Silent Hill something or another. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Night, everybody. Night.